Hey, I'm not in that weird mirror corner anymore. That, that's a reason for celebration. Here are all the photos from the mirror corner. I just did a slideshow next to my head. Oh, what a great time we had in the mirror corner. May we never need to come back and, and be in that stupid corner ever again. Today's great episode of Evil Pinely is about hair. Hair. Some people have it, some people don't. But both options are okay. Today's story features two main people. Alfredo, like the sauce, he's a hairdresser. And Taylor, like the name. She's an influencer that looks a lot like Kylie Jenner. That's a fact that's gonna be actually quite relevant in this story. This is all part of my brand new series called What's Each Person So Upset About? Or what is each person so upset about? for short. An incredibly catchy name. I just thought that's a, a bit more of an interesting way of covering it, rather than demonizing one side. We're gonna weepsu it. We're gonna weepsu out the whole situation. So this is our main guy, Alfredo. Uh, as you can see in this frame that's next to me, uh, he is promoting a service called K18. Sent me a box. Let's open it. So a lot of you guys are always asking me if you can get K18, like what should be the products that you start with, right? K18 is also actually a character in this. I'd like to add a K18 to the list of uh, characters in this story. Well, they just sent me this box and the two products that I would tell you are inside. So as you can see, this guy loves K18. He talks about it all the time. You could say that he's really okay. 18. He's really okay, 18, with K18. That's a horrible joke. I'm gonna need to come up with a better K18 joke by the end of this video. Alfredo has this series called What the Flip Happened With Your Hair, in which he brings in some person who did, who had something horrible done to their hair, and then he brings them in, uses K18 to give them a complete makeover. He's done this multiple times, and to give some context, in other cases, it seems like uh, it was a positive experience, but not in this one. So here's Taylor before she went to get her Alfredo K18 treatment. Uh, someone said your hair kind of looks uh, like a broom. That's a bit mean, I, in, if, I, if I'd say so. Literally feel like the luckiest freaking girl in the world. Guys, K18 is paying for my flight. Just when I thought that K18 couldn't fix anything, K18 can pay for a flight as well. <laughs> <laughs> and Alfredo is going to do my hair. Oh my god! I've never been to California. First thing I want to do is try an In-N-Out burger. First thing you gotta do in California, get some K-18 going on, on your head. So as you can see, she looks very excited. Uh, even though a person said that her hair looks like a broom, she's really excited for what's about to happen. She was flown out in first class K-18 Booked her a hotel room as well, got her black cars to drive her from place to place. It's the K-18 experience that everyone knows and loves. It's a K-18 nation vacation? No. Still doesn't work, huh? Person here next to the camera is wincing. That's how I know that my joke's not really landing. <laughs> Hi, Taylor. Hi. Welcome to Los Angeles. That's so funny. They're just holding clumps of her hair and laughing. That's part of the K-18 experience. You gotta go through a humiliation ritual first before K-18 fixes your life. I just realized I didn't say what K-18 is. It's a hair thing. All right, let's keep going. We're here. It's time for a major hair transformation. Tell us, like, what happened, and then let's get into what we're gonna do about it. <sighs> Basically, I've bleached my hair three times now. I've used... Two different color removers. That's the main problem here. Didn't use K18. Rookie's mistake. I use K18 for everything. Thank you, TikTok. Bringing people together. One head of hair at a time. Um, but it's definitely a little crunchy. It's a little crunchy. Call your hair crunchy. This is, this is horrible. It's a horrible experience. This is kind of a part of the series, I guess. It's called What the Flip Happened to Your Hair. You know you're gonna get some roasting when you're on the... What the flip happened to your hair chair? We are gonna do extensions, but like we love the length. So I'm gonna show you like, this is kind of the color I'm thinking. What do you guys think? So he's saying we're gonna keep the length as is. We're gonna give you this beautiful brown hair 
remember these things. Remember her face. Let's have her face right here next to my head. Remember her face when he says we're gonna keep the length as is. This is gonna be important. So they end up fixing her hair. Um, I've skipped just to the third video. And there's something that I found pretty funny about this video. I wanna play a little game where we count how many brands does Alfredo mention in this one two minute long TikTok? Taylor did extensive damage to her hair at home, bleaching her hair multiple times using color removers. We got K18. K18, classic. The K and K18 stands for classic. In Minneapolis, and they were so gracious to fly her to LA for this one to help us save her hair. They were so gracious. I love K18, they're so gracious. Ends and then came in there and did some texturizing and shaping of her hair. Um, it was such a joy. You Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this bottle that he's holding. Design me. That is absolutely a brand that they're working with or sponsored by. All right, that's brand number two. So a lot of you guys were asking me what I prescribed to Taylor. I wonder what he prescribed to Taylor. I wonder what brands were prescribed. I gave her Calisum. That's Calisum right there. That has an ingredient called PTCT. PTT6. That's calcium right there. It's one of the best things out there. Got TPT6349. It's one of the best ingredients in the game. It's gonna help her on a scalp level to help her hair grow back faster. Then I added Bellamy Hair Pro extensions there. Gotta use Bellamy Hair Pro extensions. Gotta use them. Best extensions in the game. What number is this? Four? I think that's number four so far. Color was a perfect color match. We didn't want to add length, actually. We liked the length. As a collective, they like the length. Remember that. Flip is using Design Me there. He's using their spray, and that's their Puff Me. I am obsessed with that. He's obsessed with that. Can't stop thinking about their Puff Me product. I think she looks exactly like a Kylie Jenner doppelganger. Okay, so that's a before, and that is the after. Okay. <laughs> now I'll be honest, I don't know much about hair, besides the fact that I have one on my head. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I, I don't, I like, I, I'm not a hair detective. It's hard for me to tell uh, what is wrong here, but a lot of people in the comments did find something wrong with this hair. Top comment, I'm no professional, but um, I'm not a professional as well. So, uh, she flew all the way for that, 27,000 likes. I thought she was Kylie Jenner. That's definitely underwhelming. She just aged 20 years. That could be the makeup though. That could be just that the makeup makes her look a bit more mature, I guess, or something. Amy's coming on on the defense. What do you expect? Her hair was damaged. I think the transformation is healthy and realistic. I mean, hey, if you compare it to the before and after, it's, I mean, it's a big difference. The big difference. All right. So after that, Alfredo, the guy, not the sauce, he decided to respond to all the haters out there saying that this was shit. Uh, he responded to a comment saying, I wonder if she's as disappointed as we are. Like the 4,000 comments saying that you don't get it, that you love it, you think it looks gorgeous. Thank you. But to the many of you that came for this hair, this video is for you. This video is not for me. I didn't come for this hair. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm out of the crossfires. I'm okay here. Don't worry about me. This video is about you guys. You haters. <laughs> He's showing like a clip of her saying that she loves it. She loves the hair so much. I love it so much. Thank you guys so much. We love you too. Our blessing us. He shows that she sent him a message saying, Good morning. I just want to say thank you so much for everything. I was kind of out of it yesterday because I only slept for a few hours the night before, but this was such an amazing experience and I'm in love with how th this hair. I'm in love with this hair. So then he's saying that the reason the hair color is what it is on camera is because of the ring lights, which, yeah, it looks a lot more natural. Looks a lot more natural. Less orange, I guess, you know? I got into this because I wanted to help people who had been through extreme trauma so the last thing i want to do is have taylor not be happy um but clients let us know what you want so okay i know that this is this series is called what is everyone so upset about what is each person so upset about but i do want to say something that i'm a bit upset about i don't really like the attitude that some influencers who give people free stuff and then film it on camera have the attitude that like that means that they just did a kind thing and i'm not particularly a big fan of ignoring the optics that the fact that you're filming the good deed that you're doing on camera makes you look good especially considering you're partnering with like a billion different brands let us know what you want 
Even though we did Taylor for free, K-18 was so amazing. They gave her first class airfare, put her at the Mondrian. K-18 was so amazing. <laughs> this is an important line when we're gonna try and figure out what Taylor is upset about. Um, the, the, the one where he's like, clients, let us know what you want. Very, very important sentence over here. But you've gotta let us know what you want. That consultation is so important. We need to know exactly what it is what you want. Um, or else we're gonna think that you want us to use our expertise. So if we're trying to conclude what Alfredo's so upset about, he's upset about the hate comments. And he's also alluding uh, that Taylor didn't maybe give them enough of a description of what she wants to happen. All right, here's Taylor's response to that. I just wanna clear some things up um, because I feel like people are trying to make this my fault right now when I know for a fact I expressed what I wanted. So this is what she's upset about mainly. Alfredo's claiming that, hey, I don't get proper communication She's saying, hey, I gave you the communication. This is not my fault. So in the original reply, she said, hey, I've been wanting long extensions for a while and I had to cut my hair short because of the damage, alluding to the fact that she wants long hair again. I see, I see that. So I made sure in each of the pictures I typed in long hair um, and, and these were the pictures that I had sent him. So, I mean, we got there with like the color and everything, like the color looks really good. It's really good. Um, but, you know, it's just, it's just not the length that I wanted. These are a bunch of women with long hair. She wanted long hair. Her hair is not long now, as we can see in this, in this frame. Her hair is, is not very long. It is my fault for not um, communicating enough while I was there. Um, but I've always been taught to just, like, be thankful and you get what you get and you don't throw fit. Which, uh, I mean, I can relate to, to an extent. I've, um, uh, I've sat in a barber's place before and, uh, after he gave me the world's worst haircut, he asked me, Hey man, what do you think about this? I'm like, yeah, this is really nice. Thank you for f***ing up my head so much. I really appreciate it. Basically him saying that I needed to communicate more when I did. I definitely did. Um, it's just a little bit messed up. I don't want to be painted out to be like the person who was in the wrong because I don't feel like I was. So yeah, if we had to summarize what uh, Taylor's so upset about, it's that last sentence. She doesn't want to be painted as the person who caused this hair to be what it is. Which again, I mean, I, I don't really see a problem with it. I think it looks fine, but I, I don't know shit. <laughs> it seems like the overall consensus online is that the hair is bad. And now each person is trying to be like, I'm not the one who caused this hair to be bad. And I'm like, I think it's all right. I think it's an all right bit of a hair. And she's also, I think, generally just upset about the fact that, you know, she did express what she wanted, not in the day itself, but beforehand. And then she just kind of felt surprised by the fact that she, you know, got there, they flew her out, everything. And then they're like, oh, actually the long hair thing is not happening. Then she did a follow up, uh, a way angrier one responding to this comment. The whole time I was there, Alfredo barely talked to me. He was on his phone the whole time, or if he wasn't on his phone- He can't even talk, he's a pasta sauce. Okay, I'm gonna go back. He was talking with Philip about how they were gonna get paid, how they were gonna make so much money, how this is gonna go so viral because I look like Kylie Jenner. And this goes back to what I said earlier. I mean, I would be grateful they did it for free. It's not really for free. There's an exchange of goods here, even if it's not directly money. K-18 wouldn't be spending that much money on her flights and all that if they didn't think that they have something to gain off of it. They're not a non-profit organization. If we look at the Taylor series, right? Let's look at the views here real quick. 1.7 million, 9.4, 5.6, 2.3. Uh, the fact that she looks uh, a lot like Kylie Jenner has definitely played into effect here. It leads to a lot of engagement of people being like, hey, this woman looks like Kylie Jenner. If you look at the series before that, nothing here comes close to 9.4 million views, which again is kind of part of the agreement, right? You get flown first class, he makes money off of it. That's the reality of TikTok collaborations. He gets paid by K18, he gets paid by Tangle Teaser, he gets paid by the hair regrowth brand. Yeah, there are about 50 brands in that video, that two minute video. The reason why I bleached my hair in the beginning is because I hate the Kylie comparisons. I don't like it. And the fact that they keep saying, oh, she looks like Kylie Jenner, Kylie Jenner in the videos because they're trying to, they're trying to exploit me and they're trying to make more money and get more views with it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the points on her end, I wonder if there's anything else that hasn't been covered before. This shit is patchy. Y'all were right. This shit is patchy and it looks bad. Oh, 
She's now saying that it looks patchy. I, I don't know. I think it looks fine. <laughs> Do you guys think it? I don't know. I don't know if it looks. I, I think it looks like it looks like hair to me. Yeah, it's not really as long as in these pictures. So yeah, that's kind of that on Taylor's end. If we had to conclude the reasons as to why uh, she's upset, hair is patchy. He said that she didn't communicate, and she's saying that she did communicate. She feels as if she's been used for views because she looks like Kylie Jenner, and uh, she feels as if she's been deceived in a way because they told her originally that they can give her long hair, but then she arrived there and they made her hair all short and stuff. Alfredo then responded in his own million minute long video. I don't know why TikTok videos are so long. Enough. Enough of that. I just want one minute long videos. I don't want five minute long TikToks. That's what YouTube's for. Stick to the short format, please. Hey guys, um, this is Alfredo. I'm super sad right now. This is going to be a serious video. Hey guys, this is Alfredo, not the sauce, the guy. I'm really sad right now. Hey, I'm sure that he is actually sad. That's just a funny delivery. <laughs> hey guys, Evil Pinely here. I'm really sad again. Um, I did this because I wanted to help her to do something nice. We flew her out for free. Hold on a second. K-18 flew her out for free. I don't want anyone here taking credit for anything that K-18 does. K-18 is a wonderful non-profit organization that flies people out to have their hair fixed. I know I said that I'm gonna- I'm not gonna be taking sides here, but... Hey, can't help but take K-18's side. <laughs> and I don't know why she's doing this. I honestly don't know. We loved Taylor. We had the best time with her. She was so happy. Um, I'm gonna show you my receipts. He's gonna show receipts showing her happiness. Um, I am, like I said, I've been doing hair 30 years. I'm 50 years old. Like 50 years old? Jesus Christ. I'm 24, soon to be 25, half his age, essentially. I'd argue that I look older than him. <laughs> <laughs> Reasons as to why Pinely's upset. This 50-year-old man looks younger than me. Here are his receipts showing that she was originally happy with the haircut. And maybe, I'm assuming he alludes to the fact that she changed her take based off of online response. She originally wanted to send everyone tips via cash apps. Um, alright. If she had told me in this text message she was sad, guess what I would have done? Flown her back out on my dollar and given her extensions. Like, she seems to be... Love fighting people on social media. That is not who I am. Another reason he's he's upset is because he feels like she's dragging him into online drama, and that's not who he is. He's a fifty year old man. I like helping people. He likes helping people with the help of K eighteen. I love it. Absolutely love it. He's showing another receipt showing that she loves it. Again, I, I think if like I would not like to be held to what I say uh, when, I, when I'm all awkward in a barber's chair. <laughs> Especially if there's like cameras on me. I'm gonna say that I love the haircut, you know? Why all these videos? Why all this drama? Like I, I don't do this. <laughs> I got into this because I wanted to help people. I see some of his points as like, you know, they, they have some sort of... But, but like, I, I think the helping people thing, I'm sure you want to help people, everyone wants to help people to some extent, and you are helping people. Let's not pretend as if there's no benefit happening here. This isn't what Alfredo's doing, but it reminds me a bit of all those kindness influencers that like, go to to store and then they're like, like, oh, sir, sir, I can I have a dollar? I need a dollar to buy my food. And then a bunch of people ignore them, so they film them ignoring them to villainize them. And then one person gives them a dollar and they're like, Oh, sir, you gave me a dollar. Here's a thousand dollars. And when they get criticized, they're like, What? What are you criticizing me for? I don't see you going out and giving people a thousand dollars. That's because I don't make money off of giving people a thousand dollars. That's why I'm not doing that. Everything was great. I wasn't on my phone all the time. And also, I have not made $5,000 from this. So he feels a bit whiplash from this. He says that he hasn't made five grand from this whole thing. If you look in the video, I tagged them and we used extensions. I'd be happy to give her long hair. Not anymore. No way. He said that he would have been happy to give her long hair. I think that's it. I don't know. This video is so long. So I feel like it's really ungrateful and really unfortunate. And um, 
I don't know what to say because I don't I don't know who this person is that is making these videos. It's not the person that was at the salon. I think that's that. Both sides have their own opinions. Um, I, their last two videos got so long that I think I just kind of lost track of the situation. Feel free to leave your thoughts about this in the comments. To finish this video off, I'm gonna freestyle a song about K18. Because when I'm really trying to think about this, I think that's what this story is all about, right? It's about K18. One of the best things on planet Earth. K-18, all my life, where have you been? I love you, K-18. You fly people out to places they've never been. Oh, K-18, please subscribe to my channel, Lean. <laughs>